right you guys welcome back to another video by the one of the only pieces here so yep i did three videos with this one shirt on in this one background and it is what it is because i'm giving y'all all the content okay but this is the last video of y'all seeing me with the shirt on in this background today i promise tomorrow it'll be another shirt maybe the same background but another shirt anyway as you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about success habits to master for the rest of this year and for 2022 okay because we got to get our lives together y'all like what y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all oversleeping. Y'all ain't putting in, putting y'all best foot forward. Y'all on TikTok all day. Y'all on Instagram all day. Y'all on YouTube all day. And then when you done looking at all of that, you just like, all right, it's time to go to sleep. Then you wake up in the morning, back to the nine to five, not really doing much. We ain't doing it no more. We're not doing it no more. So today, like I said, we're going to talk about success habits to master. All right. Now, these are going to be in no particular order. Just how I feel. Okay. So, number one. Kobe, shut my door. Go shut the door. So, success habit number one. Waking up earlier. So, what I have realized through me waking up earlier is the earlier I wake up, the more time I have to get things done. And that is very important for me being a entrepreneur, running three businesses, I have kids, I got a dog, I got a life. So the earlier I can wake up, the more I'm able to put into my day. So definitely try waking up earlier. The perfect time for me to wake up is five o'clock. Five o'clock is my ideal time to wake up. Six o'clock, six o'clock, I'm rolling my eyes because I'm like, why didn't I get up at five? Seven o'clock, I got an attitude because seven is definitely too late. Five o'clock is perfect. 4.30, cool. But five o'clock, definitely. So yeah, try to wake up earlier people like to say there's not enough time in the day and things like that it absolutely is time in the day stop sleeping 10 hours a day no wake up earlier get things done and you'll feel better about yourself so another success habit is writing down everything you need to get done for the day that has been that right there i have to write down everything i have an agenda every year if I don't have my agenda girl if I don't write it down it's not gonna get done like I'm that person and just putting it in my phone like I can't put it in my phone I literally have to write pen to paper write it down and get it done all right so write down everything that you have to do throughout your day because if not you're gonna forget to do things things are gonna fall by the wayside and like I told you guys before when you write down things you now have a goal you now have a plan okay writing down things gives you a plan now you know okay i need to do this i need to do that i need to do that and i need to do that and i don't know if you guys know this or not but when you write things down and you check them off as you go you actually tend to get a um it's like self-satisfaction because you're like oh i got that done you know what i mean it's like a pat on the back for your grown behind Okay, for your grown ass. It's a pat on the back. So yeah, if you're not writing things down, y'all, write things down and see what happens. So, another one, block scheduling. Not only do I write things down, I block schedule, okay? Which means if, let's say I wake up at five o'clock, okay? I'm writing down what I need to be doing at 5.30, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock all of that and then after I'm done <laughs> so first I write it down in, on my agenda then after I'm done writing it down on my agenda I take another notebook and I strategically plan when I'm going to do everything that is in my notebook hour by hour 30 minutes however long I feel like it's gonna take me to get it done then I go to my phone 
and I turn alarms on for all of those times. So when that alarm go off, I know, okay, what am I supposed to be doing? I need to be paying attention to this now. I'm done with this. And what I realized is by me doing that, I don't spend too long of a time doing things when I need to be jumping over to other things. Like let's say one of the first things I do in the morning is I like to clean my house in the morning. So instead of me spending three hours cleaning the house from top to bottom because I'm realizing, oh, okay, I vacuum, now I wanna do the dishes, now I wanna do the living room, now I wanna do this, no. I have an hour to get this done because there are other important tasks that I need to do throughout my day. And I can't spend three hours cleaning up this house. And then I can't, then I get distracted uh, because a notification came in on Instagram. And now I'm looking at that. Now that I sat down, now I'm strolling on Instagram. And now I'm over here on TikTok. No, I'm like, nope, I got an hour to do this. Screw my phone. I'll pay attention to that later. Unless it's like my mama or my kids calling me. I'll pay attention to that later. I'm getting this done because I only have a certain amount of allowed time to get it done. So it helps me to hyper focus on what I need to be taking care of right in that moment and not just paying attention to like all this other stuff. So another thing that I put down was putting my phone on silent or cutting down phone time. That is important. That is very important y'all. Like. Having your phone on silent so that you're not, especially if you're one of those people who are easily distracted. I've kind of gotten to a point now where like my phone can ding and I look over at it, but I won't pick it up and click it. I just want to see like what app it's coming from or is it a text message or who is it that's texting me? Like, is it important? If it's something like Instagram going off or email or something like that, I'm like, I can get to that when I get to it. That's not important. So um, definitely cutting down phone time because I can be like, I'm gonna look at TikTok for five minutes and then three hours will pass by and now I'm sitting here looking stupid. And I ain't got nothing done because I've been laying across my bed watching TikTok or I'll get unmotivated because I done got comfortable. So, um, yeah. Eliminating phone time is very, very important. Let me see. So today alone, how do I figure out? It's somewhere out screen time. So today alone, ooh, I'm scared to show y'all this. But then again, I work from my phone too. So, mm, it says, I, I spend about nine hours a day on my phone. That's really close to 10. That thing says, I spend nine hours and 55 minutes on average on my phone. On my phone. The good thing is, I also work a lot from my phone, so, but that's not okay. The majority of my time is used up on Instagram. After Instagram is YouTube. It also calculated in Pandora, which, whatever. That's probably me driving and stuff like that. Oh, that's for today. So today alone, I've been on my phone about eight hours and 41 minutes. It got an hour for Instagram, it got an hour for TikTok, but I've been doing TikToks today. I've been creating TikToks. So, um, my kids bus app, I spent 22 minutes on the internet, 22 minutes going through photos, 22 minutes on my messages, 20 minutes on my camera, cause I've been vlogging. So, but girl, still, you know. It say I picked up my phone 78 times today. See, stuff like this. This is, this is all bad. This is all bad. I'ma get better. Watch what I tell y'all. I'ma do better. I'ma get better because that's ridiculous. So another thing, meditating in the morning. Connecting with yourself and your mind and your spirituality is very, very important. I, I've, once I sit down and I get to meditating, one thing's for sure that has been a proven fact in my life, when I meditate in the morning, my day goes by a whole lot smoother. 
absolutely i'm not as aggravated throughout the day i'm a lot more calmer um i am able to manifest i don't know like just meditating in the morning meditating in the morning has turned my life around it really really has like i'm just i'm a whole lot better when i meditate my thoughts are clearer because i've had time to not just be go 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 i'm sitting down i'm still and i'm listening to my mind and i'm listening to my body and i'm becoming one with my spirituality and i don't know meditating if you have not tried it definitely try try meditating every day for the next seven days and let me know how it goes but you need to meditate in the morning that way you're setting your intentions for your day and just all that good stuff all right like meditate in the morning and i want to hear tisa i be trying to meditate but it's hard to stay focused it's okay start off meditating 10 minutes a day then 15 minutes a day then 20 minutes a day and just see what happens light a candle i used to have the problem of not being able to focus when i used to try to meditate and so i started lighting candles and I would focus on the flame of the candle. And I put earphones in my ear. I mean, I put my headphones on to cancel out any noise. I find a good meditation, um, um, a good meditation music, and I zone out. I zone out and I set the intentions for the day. I focus on my vision board. I um I grab my notebook and I write out my daily affirmations and things like that. And I've gotten to a point where I can meditate for up to an hour, an hour straight. And sometimes I feel like, dang, like that still wasn't long enough, but I have to move on and do whatever is next. So definitely try meditating, y'all. I promise you, you will not regret it. You'll become a better you by doing so. So another really important thing, y'all, is be clear on what you ask for. So a lot of times we may find ourselves saying, I hate this job. I can't wait to get a new job. I hate this car. I can't wait to get a new car. Or um, I can't wait to move. Or you said you can't wait to move, but you didn't expect to get evicted. Like that ain't what you meant. You said you can't wait to find a new job, but you ain't expect to get fired. You said you can't wait to get a new man, but you didn't. You didn't want a cheating man. You know what I mean? So. Start to be very clear with your intentions and what you want out of life and speak it into existence all the way. Like, I'm so grateful that I have this job, but I cannot wait until I am ready to look for a new job and find the job that I want. Not just any old job, the job that I want. And if you, if you can go even in more depth with it, then definitely be more detailed with it. Be as detailed as possible because the universe god whatever it is that you believe in will definitely grant you what you are asking for so you better make sure that you're very detailed on what you're asking for because you never know how you gonna get it and you gonna get it but be mindful of how you can get it so be intentional girl set hey lord i know i said i wanted a man but this is the kind of man that i want I don't just want no any old little funky man. I want him to be 6'9", dark skin, perfect teeth, a good job. I want that thing to be thanging, that elephant trunk slanging. Like, <laughs> go into detail about what it is that you want, girl, because the universe and God is listening. And they gonna give you what you want. So, make sure that it's signed, sealed, and delivered by you and exactly what you want. So, another thing would be to, and I'm looking down at my phone, y'all, because I got it all wrote down on my phone. So, another thing would be to read more. Read more. Read more. There's so much education in books, but we don't want to read. We're too lazy to read. And when I say we, I am not a part of that because I read all the time. As a matter of fact, I think I got one chapter left. Fee, if you watching this, that book you gifted me is great i am down to my last chapter and i'm about to be on to the next i need to be ordering me a new book tonight as we speak so as soon as i'm done wrapping up that chapter i have a new book hopefully i have a new book in the mail by monday um 
so yeah definitely definitely read more did you know if there's something that you're interested in if you read about 30 books it's 25 25 to 30 books on that one specific subject that you are then a master of it because that's how much people don't read in the world that if you read 25 books about something that you're interested in and it's on the same subject you are now a master in what you are reading you're pro that's crazy that's absurd you know how quick it is to read 25 books technically you can read 25 books in two years if you read a book a month now if you double up and read two books a month you're a master in a year at your craft read more education is serious and it ain't just about going to college take going to vocational school and stuff like that read from home i don't care if it's audible where they read into you i'm not really into people reading to me i like to sit down and actually put my fingers to the pages and turn them and me reading is a part of my me time and i like to do it while i'm in the tub i could be in the shower and i read girl it don't matter to me i just like reading and i've realized that specifically i like reading while i am in the tub here's one that we all say we're gonna do every new year's resolution we're gonna take better care of our health we're gonna work out more and we're gonna eat better prioritize your health okay whether that is your um your a healthy relationship your mental health your physical health whatever it is prioritize that because so often we forget that we cannot help others until we're okay your cup is so it's supposed to ruin over into others people cup you can't take a half empty cup or empty cup and pour it into somebody else you have to make sure that you are full so that your overflow goes into other people but you have to make sure you're fulfilled first before you can help anybody and a lot of times we forget that so definitely prioritize your health even if you're not going to the gym just walk around the block walk around your backyard walk back and forth from your mailbox 10 times as a start do 30 jumping jacks every morning do 30 jumping jacks every night just start somewhere learn to be um more softer on yourself when it comes down to your mental mental health because i feel like we're so we're so hard on ourselves to be perfect and all of this other stuff because of what we see other people accomplishing and what we see on social media not knowing the steps that they took to get there so focus on yourself and focus on your health and everything else will really fall in line and the last one create a better nighttime routine if you agree to the fact of getting up earlier you have to have a in order for you to have a great morning routine you have to have a great nighttime routine so if you know you're supposed to be in the bed if you know you're one of those people who you need to be in the bed by nine set your alarm to be in the bed by eight so that way you got some hustle and bustle to get your ass in the bed at nine o'clock instead of your alarm going off at nine saying hey we're supposed to be in the bed and you don't end up going to bed till 10, 11 o'clock. Kind of trick your mind if you have to. Start a great nighttime routine. I need to be in the tub by this time. I'm going to catch this show at this time. I'm not going to pay attention to my phone after this time. And by this time, I should be asleep. One of the things that helped me to go to sleep, even when I'm not necessarily sleepy, putting down my phone for one, turning my TV on to like some good meditation music, or um listening to like thunderstorms and stuff like that girl i'll be sleeping five minutes five minutes i'll be done so if, see if that'll help you you know um put them little ones to bed early enough so that you can do what you need to do to get you in the bed and yeah if you can think of any other things that you want to master for 2022 or things that you have mastered that you feel like us as a community and when i say a community i mean those of us who are watching my channel right now things that um you think we could all benefit from that i just you know overlooked or i didn't put on this video drop it down below so that I can see where it is that I can be improving in my life as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, please do. 
me a favor hit that subscribe button because that number has dropped child like it has definitely dropped i think we dropped by like 20 subscribers i don't know my nail is crooked i ain't even paid it no attention oh no i got two crooked nails my, my, this is not y'all don't care y'all don't care I went to a new nail tech because my nail tech. That's not what this is about. Uh, sidebar, I'll leave it for a vlog. Anyway, yeah, hit that subscribe button because we done dropped like 20 subscribers. I ain't tripping. If they gone, they gone. But let's bring in 20 new ones. We get rid of 20, bring in 20. So if you are a new if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit the notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload. And definitely hit that like button so YouTube can push this out to other people and um thank you guys so much for watching Mwah. love y'all i hope that this video was helpful along with every other video that i dropped with you i love you guys so much see you in another video bye